So this is the second video on what actually you can do with your WBS structure that you weren't able to do before if you didn't have one already set up dynamically. So I'm going to go ahead and go to card view and we're going to look at it from the level four perspective, which is where most of your tasks and activities are. So here you can see it as more of like a JIRA or Kanban view and you can move um, what you have already set up as an activity to be done. Um, you can move it from not started to complete, or you can move it from canceled to not started, or you can move items to on hold. Um, and so what you do is you want to decide how you want to look at it. So you can do what's assigned to, and you can say, okay, well, this person is assigned to too many objects. So we're going to make sure that um, their, 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 alloc their allocation is assigned to um, more effective um, topics. So like in, for instance, this person is dealing with phase one in a specific section and we're going to go ahead and we're going to move it around um, so that we have a little bit more allocation uh, across different perspectives. So um, again, you can look at them in any kind of way uh, you like. And as a manager, um, you can decide on this. And so when you create those, that WBS, and you create it in a dynamic way, uh, you really can see your project uh, kick off in a much better uh, light. And later on, I'm going to show you how you can actually add um, subtasks. So you can add a subtask to a task um, right here in your card view. So I just kind of wanted to go over that real quick. And if you like the first two videos, um, I'll keep going. And please uh, subscribe and let me know what you think. Thank you.